For even more updates on Stephen King's It, The Dark Tower, and The Mist, be sure to check out hybridnetworkyt.com. What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to The Hybrid Network and one of our topic videos discussing The Dark Tower, where today we're taking a look at the major antagonist to Roland Deschain and his wandering quartet, the Crimson King, the self-imposed leader of the Red Force of Chaos that seeks to topple the Dark Tower and bring about endless discord and mania across the many levels of worlds held by it. The Crimson King has an ancestry dating back to Arthur Eld, the former king of all world and the Crimson Queen, an insectile demon of the Prim, making him a direct descendant of the Eld line and a distant relative of the gunslinger Roland Deschain, his primary foe throughout the series. Believe it or not though, the Crimson King's first appearance was outside of the Dark Tower series, first appearing in Insomnia, where he attempted to take the life of a child, Patrick Danville, someone destined to pose a great threat to him in the future. Though his efforts were thwarted by Ralph Roberts, who was employed by the Little Bald Doctors to save the people of the Derry Civic Center. In this confrontation, the Crimson King displays his horrific ability to shapeshift, drawing on the memories and deepest fears of those he faces, a power that stems from his ancestry being steeped within the Prim, the primordial chaos before the entity Gan created the vast universe in the Dark Tower itself. He employs many supernatural and dark beings to do his bidding throughout not only Midworld, but throughout the many worlds that all connect back to the Dark Tower, including the Man in Black, Randall Flagg, otherwise known as Walter O'Dim. With these individuals in his employ, he seeks to see discord and decay across the vast multiverse, as well as preventing anyone from stopping his ultimate goal of destroying the Dark Tower and all of reality as a result. One of the biggest aspects of the character is his ability as a were-spider, being able to shapeshift into a monstrous spider creature with a ravenous appetite, this also likely being another manifestation of his ties with the Prim. Many fans have pointed out the similarities between this transformation and that of Pennywise the Dancing Clown, though they are not the same person and are not even of the same species, with the King being half human and half demon. There's no indication at the moment that he appears in any physical form in the Dark Tower movie, but based on the idea of the Wheel of Ka, no doubt he'll have to play some role in this new iteration of Roland's journey to the Dark Tower. But that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you all for tuning in, and make sure you subscribe for more Stephen King-related videos from the Hybrid Network. This is Luke, signing out.